Hello and welcome to the third pelvic floor of the pelvic floor series. We're going to dive deeper as we go throughout this routine and then we'll continue to peel a layer each time and get a little bit stronger as we go. I do encourage repeating this workout multiple times before moving on to the next one. Same as the other ones, if you feel like you need to return to number one or number two, please do and then shift up to this workout and the upcoming ones. I have my little guy here with me. He is gonna be joining in as well with some kicks and doing some movements to also work his little belly muscles. Melinda Pedersen here with Fitness for Mamas. We're gonna go ahead and get started seated right here. So find your comfortable space, sit bones, pelvis underneath you. We're going to go ahead and start with our breaths. Hands up. And as a reminder, you're always doing the work on the exhale and on the inhale, you're relaxing. So go ahead and take a breath in and then exhale. Inhale and then exhale. Roll those shoulders so you can relax those. I actually just felt a little bit of a crack pop up here because I'm always so tight from breastfeeding. So relax. So go ahead and go through your breaths. And then as a reminder, remember that you're zipping up and you're pulling up like you're kind of pulling up that napkin, like everything from your butt to your vagina, you're working. So go at your pace here. <laughs> Really let it out. Two more. Expand in your rib cage here. Nice. Now I'll come down to our mat. Remember, come down onto your elbow and then roll over. And we're gonna be doing heel drafts, alternating arm lifts. So we'll go ahead and start with your, you can start with your left, and then you can take your arm, your opposite arm up. So go ahead and take a breath in, and then on the exhale, come down. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, do the work coming up. Naturally, your lower back will go to the floor like a pelvic tilt when you do your work. So continue at your pace. Really feel everything engage. Three more. <sighs> working the opposition here, working on closing that gap too. Last one. Nice. Go ahead and drop that. Bring up your opposite heel, opposite arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue at your pace. Taking your time working through your foundation, becoming more mindful of where you're at, connecting the breath to your body.
And if any type of your pregnancy or your birthing was traumatic, this begins the healing process too. And making that connection. Going back to the root of where it came from. Giving yourself permission to let go. Maybe it didn't go as planned. You're on your healing journey. <laughs> Let's do one more. Come back up, inhale right here. Pull it together. And then inhale. Relax. Nice work. Point your feet to the ground. We're going to do hip lifts right here. So bringing it up. So inhale, relax. Exhale, rolling it up together. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, bringing it down. And then rolling it. Inhale, relax. Exhale, bring it together. Pulling up, pushing through your heels. Inhale. And then exhale. When I come down, I like to roll it vertebrae, vertebrae per vertebrae down to the tailbone, and then I relax everything. Inhale, and then I roll it back up. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you've had a miscarriage too. I did in between my babies. This is a time to also work on that healing journey. Any pain, discomfort associated with the womb, making that connection and coming back to it. And accepting what has happened. And to really focus on that healing so you can be present with your babies. And also remembering the one that you once held. Bring it down and then hold it right here and relax. Take a couple breaths of inhale and exhale. Nice. Roll over to your side. Come up. We're going to do fire hydrant. Up all fours. Find a comfortable space here, and then go ahead and bring one knee up, and then bring it back down, and we're going to be alternating. So go ahead and move forward. If you want, just do a mini hydrant. If you feel like you're not as comfortable bringing it up as high, you can just bring it up just the lift. You can bring it up right here. Or if you feel like you're more advanced in your journey, you can even bring it up higher. I'm going to be doing the middle option. Continue your work. So inhale on the when you're relaxed, and then exhale when you bring your leg up. Yeah, hi. Hey, honey. Yeah. You talk. Aww.
<laughs> He's just starting to giggle. Probably about the third time I've heard him giggle. Keep up the good work. Really focusing on stabilizing everything. You can even put your hand to your abdomen here. You can really feel it working on the exhale. It's really good for the pelvic floor and then ab separation if you have it. Really squeezing those glutes too. Hey. Let's do two more. <laughs> Last one. Good work. Now for our last move before we do a stretch, we're gonna be doing knee ups here. So you can be sitting on your heels or you can even bring your toes up. You can get a little nice stretch in your feet and your toes. And then you're gonna be coming up and then you're gonna be going down. I'm going to be doing that work on the exhale. So inhale, and then exhale, bring it all in, shift it up, almost like your pelvic floor is lifting you, and then bring it back down. Really work through that pelvic floor. So keep it up. So inhale, and then exhale, pull it up. Inhale, and then exhale. Really engaging everything. There you go, keep it up. breath in and then exhale bring it down exhale bring it down really feeling everything underneath you Lifting up and in. Last one. Nice work. Bring it back to your mat. <laughs> We're going to do a child's pose here. Widen your knees to your mat. Uh, let go of that tension in your hips. Feel nice stretch. Walk your fingertips up. A lot of times we hold fear and tension in our hips because we're afraid of what's to come in the future, which also is anxiety related. So releasing that, accepting the present moment so you can move forward without fear. Focus on your breaths here. Take five of them. Really feel your pelvic floor. Appreciate what your body's done for you today and throughout the birthing process, what you've been through. Letting go of any pain or discomfort that you felt emotionally. Let it all go through this breath. One more. Nice. Walk it up. My little guy was kicking my ponytail around. Bring it back to center. Hands up. Thank you so much for being here with both of us today and sharing in the journey.
I appreciate you and all the work that you're doing and putting into taking care of yourself. And especially slowing this routine down is really important to connect that mind and that body and finding a greater appreciation for your journey. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. Go ahead and put a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get to know you as well. It's really neat connecting with anybody who has been watching the routines. So take good care and have a good rest of your day. And then also please make sure to subscribe and share with other mamas. Bye-bye.